We're sitting in a 2007 Honda Pilot with the battery light on while the engine's running. So we'll run through some quick checks. We'll diagnose it. Is it the alternator or is it something else? To confirm the complaint, the battery light will be over in this direction. You can see it there. We start it up and it continues to stay on. We hook up our little battery tester here. Let's go ahead and do a quick test. Regular liquid, SAE 800. And same, we have 551 uh, cold cranking amps. A little low. It says it's good, but if you notice, the state of health is 68%, so I'd still recommend getting this battery replaced. The customer said it has been about six years or so, so that's definitely on the list. But let's go into system test. We're gonna crank the engine over. We got the cranking volts, 9.68 volts, uh, in the normal range. So now, let's do the charging test. Vehicle is running, all loads are off. 13.36 is a little low for an idle with all loads off. Now we're gonna turn on some loads, headlights, AC, uh, things like that, and then come back and see what it says. So now with some loads on, we dropped quite a bit, 11.86 volts. So that's pretty low, we should still be hovering in the 13 volt range, uh, definitely not below 12.6 or battery voltage. So let's run through some checks to make sure, is this the alternator? Is it one of the cables going to the alternator? Uh, what's up? So the next thing we wanna do is get to the alternator. Is the alternator producing the right amount of voltage and that voltage just isn't getting to our battery? Or is the alternator just not putting out the voltage and that's why it's not getting to the battery? So we need to determine uh, that from the source. So there's a boot right here on top. Take that boot off. And that accesses our power feed. All right, so I have my voltmeter hooked up. I have it on battery ground, because that's the best ground I'm gonna get. And then this side, I have an alligator clipped to my alternator. I'm reading battery voltage, and that's how you can know that you're hooked up properly, because this power wire goes to the positive of your battery and then I have it on battery negative. Even if I was just on a ground on the body, I'd still read battery voltage because the battery ground is hooked to the body. So we know we're hooked up right because we're reading battery voltage. Let's crank it up. Just a quick note, one thing to keep in mind while working around here, uh, alligator clips are great. They work really well if you're not using them and you're just using the standard probes. Be careful because the cooling fan uh, is right here. So just keep that in mind. All right, we are running again with the load on and 11.64 volts. So indeed, the alternator is just not putting out uh, what it needs to. So it's not uh, charging the battery. Well, there you go. Our car was telling us we were having a charging system issue. Go under the hood, check the battery, and we find that indeed it is low on uh, voltage getting to the battery. Not enough to recharge it. By doing a simple quick test at the alternator itself, we can determine, is it the alternator or is it a wiring issue? If we were getting 14-ish volts at the alternator, then we don't need to replace it. We need to be thinking, okay, from the alternator to the battery, uh, what's happening? Is there corrosion? Is there a bad connection somewhere? So we'd be looking elsewhere. But as we saw, uh, we weren't getting the voltage from the source. That's why it wasn't uh, charging the battery. Now we can confidently uh, replace that alternator and we feel good that once we do, the battery will be back up and charging. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this alternator, replace the battery, and show you the results. In a different video, I'll post here, uh, will be the process of replacing the alternator in a separate video. All right, got a shiny new alternator on it. The belt's on. Let's fire it up. Our new battery is showing 12.5 volts. Good. We'll go into our charging test. We know the battery's good. Cranking volts are a little better than before. 
10.7 volts. Charging test, all loads are off. 14.09, so that's better, that's right where we want it. Let's turn on the loads. All loads are on, headlights, AC, fan, radio, 13.99, much better. So this is a confirmed fix. So I use a battery analyzer to check the battery and the charging system, but you don't necessarily need one of these. You can just use a regular voltmeter, uh, positive to positive, negative to negative, while the car's running. And you just put it on the terminals, and you can see whether or not uh, the voltage is you know, 12, 13, 14, whatever that voltage is, you'll see it here. Uh, so these are nice, but you can still get the job done uh, without one.